hello, hello, hello. Hey, all right, all right. I'm live. Um, Shalom, Shalom. Another GMS on the go, right quick. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Lock in. Turn this down. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakadash. Next, most definitely double honors to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here forbear. Um, just winding down, you know what I'm saying? It's getting late, you know what I'm saying? Hey, through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shai. Just want to do something on how, on the importance of having this wisdom and how happy we should be and how thankful we should be each and every day, man. Each and every day, all throughout the day, we're supposed to be thinking, you have about Shemel Shai for giving us this knowledge, for giving us this wisdom, for putting the fear back in us, man. So I want to do a quick lesson through the spirit of your how about Shemel Shai. Hey, just on the importance of how special this wisdom is, you know, and don't take it for granted. So I got a couple of scriptures that I'm going to read through the spirit and I'm going to wrap it up. This is Proverbs chapter um, three, verse 13. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. So now we got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. The, the average Israelite is not excited about finding wisdom, man. The scriptures tell us we're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be thrilled. We're supposed to be tickled to death, man. We're supposed to be praising, glorifying your how by Shemel Shaf, even giving, giving us this knowledge. And if you still got it to this day, whether you've been in it for a couple of years, a couple of months, a couple of days, if you woke up this morning, and you retain the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Look, you're supposed to be thinking the Lord, man. You know? Because the Lord can give it to you. He can take it away, man. We can't take this thing of ours for granted, man. Because, look, the, remember, the Lord don't need us, man. We need Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai don't need us. They can raise up rocks and go out there and teach this word. So, once again, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Happy is the man, the Israelite man, woman and child. Def, look, they define of knowledge. Whether you happen to walk up on a camp or you're going through the internet, you know and I'm saying you uh, stumble upon a video, you're supposed to be happy, right? You don't supposed to be um, you um, stumble upon a video or you see men out there on the highways and byways, and you get close, you start hearing this word, and say, so, you know, you start despising the words that's coming out of their mouth according to the Bible. Nah, say so you're supposed to get happy. You're supposed to be thrilled. You find out that you're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. Yasha Allah, Prince of the Power, the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. You find out their true names in the Hebrew tongue, the proper names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You're supposed to be happy, man. Look, you find out about repentance. You find out about what sin is. You find out that you was going off and you repent from that. You're supposed to be happy that the Lord even thought about showing you any mercy, man. Giving you this word, because this word, and I'm going to prove it according to the Bible, this word wasn't given to everybody, man. So once again, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13, happy is the man that giveth wisdom. And what's the beginning of wisdom? The fear of the Lord. And the guy of the Bible said he's going to show his wisdom to those that fear him, right? It says, in the man that giveth understanding. Going right back to uh, Proverbs 4 and 7, and I'll get that. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, wisdom is the principal thing. That's the first thing you need to get is wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord. Therefore, get wisdom, get fear. And with all thy getting, get understanding. As you read these words, get the understanding of what you're reading. It says, blessed is he that readeth. When you go into that scripture, it's basically saying the individual, the Israelite that's reading and understand what he's reading, he's truly blessed, right? So let's go back. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 15. Matter of fact, uh, 14. For the merchandise of it, meaning this wisdom, it's better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof, the fine gold. And what is our people killing themselves for? Money, cars, clothes, holes, fortune, fame, trying to get a name for themselves. But the scripture just said having wisdom is better than all that, man. Having the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is better than all that, right? Having this wisdom is, is more precious than fine gold, man. And silver, which, which are precious metals, right? She, meaning wisdom, is more precious than rubies. 
You got people, you know what I'm saying, over there in Africa or wherever the, um, the diamond mines are, killing themselves right about now. You know, using TNT, exploding different rocks and concrete and all that just to get these precious metals. When the scripture said wisdom is more precious than those precious metals, man. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Meaning what? Wisdom. You can't compare nothing to the wisdom that we have obtained, which was given to us through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad, by way of our teachers, the apostles and elders of great millstone. The Lord didn't have to do that. He, he, he really didn't have to do it. We done, like I said before, it's, it's, the night is winding down. I just want to do something through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad. Because, look, you should truly be happy, man. You see the scriptures, be happy you got this wisdom, man. Meaning the words of the Bible, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible. Be happy, right? Do not take it for granted. You got people, they killing themselves. They breaking their necks to get the plaques on the walls, different accolades. You know, people going to Hollywood, trying to get the Academy Awards and all that. When the scriptures say that's nonsense. You can't compare wisdom to that nonsense, man. You can't compare that nonsense to what we have been given, that true blessing, which is wisdom. So this is um, still in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom, not cars, not clothes, not homes, not jewelry, not women, you know, not a big job bank account. And we got to truly start, you know what I'm saying, thinking like that, man. Now, money is a defense. But if you ain't got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures, when you get that money, you're just going to spin it up. Because you didn't get the wisdom to teach you how to rule over certain things, right? So once again, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11, for wisdom of the Bible, not the Quran, not the book of the dead, not the book of Egyptology, but the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. You can't compare nothing to this wisdom, nothing at all. And you got to wake up thinking that throughout the day, you got to know that. Before you go to sleep, you got to know that you got to be thankful. Right before you close your eyes and you say your prayers, be thankful to your how about Shemiah Rashad that you went to sleep knowing who you are. You went to sleep knowing your power, your how about Shemiah Rashad. You went to you went to sleep with the fear of the Lord on you, you know. And then at the same time, the knowledge that was given unto you, you went out there and taught it, man. You went to sleep knowing that that you put your best foot forward in pleasing your how about Shemiah Rashad. See now. We know how to please you how about Shemiah Rashad. We didn't know that at first, right? You know? And so it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thought. The, the whole the whole plan and the whole thing, man. You have about Shemiah just laying it all out. You know, it's just a wonderful thing. And I got a couple more scripts. Like I said before, it ain't even going to be nothing long. I just want to bring something out through the spirit, man, right before I lay down. On how truly thankful I am, man. And I know the apostles are. The elders of great millstone. We know what's coming. We know how the Lord is coming. That's that's that wisdom. This is um Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Um, chapter six. Let's see. 22. For wisdom is according to her name. And she is not manifest. The word manifest means to make known. She is not manifest unto many. So you got to think, man. It's beings of Israelites. Because Israel is like the sand of the sea, right? It's billions of Israelites alone on the face of the earth. And what did the scripture say? Sirach, also known as Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus, chapter 6, verse 22. It says, for wisdom is according to her name. And she, meaning wisdom, that's our woman, right? That's our first love. This woman right here, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to cheat on you. This woman right here ain't going to depart from you, right? She going to try you most definitely, as the scriptures say. She going to try you. She going to walk um, with crooked ways until she, until she see that you're um, even worthy to obtain her, right? And that's just like any woman, man. You truly show a woman that you want to be with her by spending time with her, right? By talking to her, by caressing her. So you do the same thing spiritually with the scriptures when you read, when you study, things of that nature. Because why? For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. So every Israelite on the face of the earth wasn't given the knowledge, wasn't given the wisdom, wasn't given the understanding of the scriptures, but you was. 
But we was, right? So how much happier should we be, man? But we was. The scriptures tell us that the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures, that's what's going to keep us stable. Nothing else. So how really, how happy should you really be? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, because everybody, you, they got songs out. I want to be rich and all that other nonsense, right? For the love of money and all this, right? People desire to have money. That's why you see people killing themselves playing the lottery. I know I be walking through the streets on my everyday travels, and I'm seeing like lottery tickets um, of people that didn't win, of course, just scattered all throughout the streets, man, like stacks of them. Because they, desi they desire to have riches, worldly riches, right? But what did the scripture say again? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom? What is richer than wisdom? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures that worketh all things. Like I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video, say like if you do win the lottery, because many um, many accounts of people making it rich, becoming millionaires, but they didn't have this to back it up. So as soon as they became millionaires, after like a year, months even, maybe a year or two, a couple of million dollars, there was bums on the streets because they didn't have this, man. This right here, you know what I'm saying? Work of all things. Work of all things. This is this this wisdom right here teaches us how to go about our everyday life. It, this wisdom teaches us how to conduct ourselves in public. You see, the majority, the, the average Jake act like an asshole out there, man. They don't know how to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Like when they see the um the cops, their adversaries, they don't know how to agree with them. They don't know how to apply wisdom when they're at work. When they're in a restaurant, nowhere. When they're out there in society, because they're desiring other things. They're not desiring wisdom. The scriptures tell us happy is the man that get of wisdom, man. And I, and I want to read why. It's plain. The Lord made it plain for us to understand his word. And like I said before, you get the word and then you go teach others. As the scriptures say, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, right? This is Isaiah chapter um, 33. Bear with me. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible, right? Not, not the worldly knowledge. Because the scriptures tell you what? The, um, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. Let me see if I can get that right quick. Let's see what that is. That uh, Corinthians 1. Let's see. Or the two. Bear with me, Israel. I want to get this precept right quick. Then I'm going to come right back. Yeah, this is it. Because it says right here in um, Isaiah chapter um, 33, verse 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Now, one might say, I got knowledge. I got my plaques. I got my bachelor's degree. I got associate's degree. I got a master's. We're, we're going to see if it's talking about that wisdom. Let's get this right quick. First Corinthians chapter 3. Verse 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. So going right back to Isaiah 33 and 6, you, you know it's most definitely not talking about college. You know what I'm saying? Four years of college, eight years of college. That's not going to keep you stable because the average person on the earth right about now that went to college ain't even working right about now. And they bugging out, man. The only people that ain't bugging out is the ones that got the knowledge. They the only ones that ain't bugging out right now, right? 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19, for wisdom, for the wisdom of this world. Oh, yeah, uh, being a rapper, being an actor, being an entertainer, being a basketball player, football player, going to college, all that other nonsense is foolishness with your how about Hashem, I was trying to see the God of the Bible don't care nothing about that, man. He don't care how, how big your plaque is, you know what I'm saying? You got all them plaques, you know what I'm saying? All, all them trophies and all the God of the Bible don't care nothing about that. The Lord said he wants you to fear him. That's what the God of the Bible care about. He's taking pleasure in those that fear him. It says, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Now, these people got the wisdom of this world. And they come up to, uh, to us. They come up to what they would call nobodies on the street. They would call us bums. You know what I'm saying? Or, or nobodies on the streets, they come up to us and they get confounded. 
by the knowledge that we have been blessed with because their knowledge is nothing, man. Okay, and then we find out they, they went to college for eight years and they truly don't understand nothing. They don't even understand what the word college means. So the, the wisdom and the knowledge of this world can't profit you anything, especially when it's competing or going against this right here. Nah, it ain't going to work. So let's go back. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. What's going to keep you? What's keeping us stable right about now? One might ask. One might ask why we're not um, crying and losing our mind and all that. Some of us are at home with our jobs. Why, why are we not losing our mind? Why are we not bugging out like everybody else? Why? Because we got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. That's why. It's, it's simple mathematics. That's why. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time of the Bible now. It says, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. So we take pleasure in fearing you have, but it's not grievous. When it comes to when it comes to the God of the Bible saying, Look, I want you to fear me, that doesn't grieve us. We're, we're pleased, we're happy to please your how by Shai. We'll go all out to please your how by Shai. Proverbs chapter one, verse five. A wise man will hear, and when increase and learn a wise man, a prudent man, he will understand that the wisdom of this Bible. Really is the only thing that should be making you happy right about now. I mean, you got certain things of the world that makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you see your kids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You might see your loved ones. Yeah, you get a, a, a little thrill. But as for the things that really make you happy is this knowledge once you get into it. And a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsel. So you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. That's who you're going to be. A, that's who you're going to be around. The men that got the word. Yeah. Come on, man, you're not going to be hanging around two-thirds. You're not going to um, accompany yourself with the nonsense. It ain't nothing but a headache. And like I said before, this is just going to be a short lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah and then I'm going to wrap it up. Because Yahweh by Shemiah take pleasure in us going out there teaching this word. You know, let's read this. Let's get Daniel's right quick. This is Daniel's chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And that's what we do. When we go out there and teach this word, we turn in many to righteousness. It's Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, ultimately. But we going out there teaching this word, it's turning many to, to righteousness, turning them back to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, turning them back. To the true words of the Bible, not that Christianity nonsense, man. I want to read that again. Oh, in yeah, the scripture say, wisdom making for man face to shine, right? Daniel chapter 12, verse 3, one more time. And they that be wise, we just read that in our Proverbs 1 and 5, right? And a, and a wise man will hear and will increase learning and will obtain unto wise counsel, right? And they that be wise, according to the Bible, a prudent man, shall shine. As the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. And the scriptures tell us that um the angels rejoice when an Israelite man, woman, or child repent. You know, the angels of heaven rejoice, man. The angels of heaven rejoice. Let me see if I can get that. Luke, St. Luke chapter 15. So we got to really take this into consideration how blessed we are for having this knowledge because it won't manifest into all Israel. This is St. Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Red letter, Lord Yahweh speaking, who they eagerly call Jesus, right? Likewise, I say to you that there is joy in the presence of the angels of Yahweh over one sinner that repenteth, man. So the Israelites that have turned back, that have repented, turned back sorrowfully to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, the angels rejoicing right about now, man. And you know that the word angel means messenger. So we could be out there on the highways and byways preaching, an Israelite coming up, walking up. They hear the word, and that's how you know what I'm saying. They start turning from their wickedness. You know how joyous we get, man? When we see a new brother do a video, 
uh, praising you have, but Shem that brings joy to our spirit, man. We rejoice over that. Once again, St. Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you that there is joy in the presence of the angels of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai over one sinner that repenteth, man. So, so that's a, that's how important this word is, man. That's how important this word is. And the scriptures tell us, let's get another one. You fear you have, but Hashem Yahushai, you're not going to disobey his word. Once again, blesses the man that readeth, right? Because everything written up in the scriptures, look, it's going to happen. This is the time, Israel. You see everything coming down the pipeline. This is the time for us to repent. Turn back to the Lord. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will not disobey his word. And they that love him, my people say they love the Lord. Love is keeping the commandments. And they that love him will keep his way. They that fear the Lord, you hear fear a lot, right? They that fear the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom, will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. And we rehearse it to the best of our ability. That's the only thing we can do on this side until you have by Shem Yahushua put these laws in our inward parts. Only thing we can do is just rehearse the righteous acts, man. Let's see. I was thinking of some. I lost my train of thought on what scripture I was going to get. Oh, yeah, the water you have by Shem Yahushua. That's how much of a blessing it is. You can think something, then you can forget it, and then the Lord will put it right back in your spirit if he wants to. The Lord is controlling everything. Man going to the other Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it's a man, he said, an Israelite man, behold, the fear of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Look, that is wisdom. So happy is the man to get him wisdom, right? Happy is the man that get that fear in him, right? Or you have by Hashem Yahweh Because look, she's more precious, right? Than rubies. The fear of the Lord. The Lord ain't going to show you no secrets anyway if you don't fear him. And that's going right back to um, Psalms um, 25. Which I get that. I want to finish this off. And then I get Psalms 25 and 14. Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it's a man, he said, behold. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So you see an Israelite, look, we just read the angels rejoice over one Israelite that um that turned from his iniquity, man. That that was a heavy scripture. I want, I want to get that again too. I want to get that Luke 15. One more time. This is St. Luke chapter 15, verse 10, one more time. And it reads, likewise, I say unto you that there is joy in the presence of the angels of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai over one sinner that repented. If he turned from his evil ways, he turned back to the Lord. The angels rejoice. And to depart from evil is understanding, man. Because if you don't depart from evil, the scriptures say all the sinners of my people shall die by way of the sword. The, the average Israelite is going to die soon come. And we have knowledge of that. And, and the scriptures say knowing is just half the battle, man. That's why that's why we got to be doers of the word and not hearers only. The scriptures tell you to do something, Israel, you do it to the best of your ability. Only thing we can do is try, right? Only thing we can do is try. I want to get this right quick since I'm here. This is um, Amos. Amos chapter 5, verse 4. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Until the house of Israel are people before us a place. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. That's wisdom right there. The Lord already told us how we can live. Seek him. Seek him before that wrath come, right? Let's get this. Quick little lesson through the spirit of your house. But you know, I won't meant to be made um, a long lesson or nothing like that. The night is winding down. You have about Shemar Shai said, look, just throw something out there. You know, edify the elect of the nation of Israel. Let them know how much of um, a blessed thing it is to have this knowledge, right? And don't take it for granted. And it starts off with me because I'm making the lesson. So it first and foremost starts off with me. Every time you do a lesson, just know it's, it's made for you and the people that's hearing it. 
This is um Zephaniah chapter three, verse um chapter two, Salakia. Zephaniah chapter two, verse three. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. You got to come humble, right? The word meek means humble, which have wrought his judgment. Now, it's like the God of the Bible said he has stricken Israel, but they still ain't repented. We went through slavery, got fed the dogs, got burnt, got lynched, got separated from our families. And our people still don't want to repent to the God of the Bible that put us through all that, right? But we have wrought his judgment, right? Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid. In the day of the Lord's anger, see, Yahweh Bashim Shah already gave us the instructions how to be hid from his anger when he bring wrath to this place, man. That's the thing about it. The God of the Bible gave us the instructions, you know, how to make it through. And then our people like, this is the last thing that they want, man. That's 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 the mind-boggling thing. But we know it's all being ordained by Yahweh Bashim Shah, but it's still mind-boggling. With everything that's going on, people still ain't seeking the Lord yet. But it's all about the elect of the nation of Israel. It's always been about the elect, and it's going to always be about the elect of the nation of Israel, man. You know, th look, they're going to seek Yahweh by Shemiah And look, and that's what the Lord is going to care for. The Lord is going to care for them. Few shall be saved. I want to, I, let me get that right quick. You know, having this wisdom, man, is, is truly a blessing. You start seeing people die in different you know what I'm saying, situations. Look, man, it, it starts not, it don't bother you no more. Why? Because you know it's judgment. You know it's the judgment of the Lord. So everything that used to bother you really don't bother you no more. Seeing babies die, seeing people getting you know, burned up in house fires, car crashes. You hear about people getting killed in plane crashes. It probably used to bother you before you came into this truth. Family members getting put to death and all that it used to bother you, but now. You know, it's judgment. This is um, 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. For there be many created, but few shall be saved. Few, one or two, not many. The majority of people are going to die, man. And, and, and knowing that is a blessing, man. Knowing that there is a blessing. Let's get another one. Still in the book of 2 Ezra. 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 15. I have said before, and now do speak, and we'll speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish, than of them which shall be saved. The average Israelite is going to perish out here. The average individual is going to perish, period. But the only ones that can be saved and delivered are the Israelites. So two-thirds of our people are going to die a horrible death out here, man. And look, and the scriptures tell us why. See how important this wisdom is? This wisdom is really important. This is um second Ezra going back to second Ezra, the seventh chapter, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad that is set before them. See how important wisdom is. See how important wisdom is. Wisdom tells us the reason why the majority of our people are going to die. That's what wisdom tells us. It says, um, for Yahweh have given them straight commandments. To such as came, what they should do to live, it's plain, plain. But our people chase some money. <laughs> they ain't even trying to get the secrets and the mysteries on how to live and make it through the nuclear holocaust. Nah, they're seeking fortune and fame and money and all this other nonsense. Money, cars, clothes, and holes. That's what our people are seeking. When they should be seeking wisdom, right? It says, um, for you, how I have. For Yahweh have given straight commandments to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, two thirds of our people they were not obedient unto him, but look, but spake against him, and imagined vain things, and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds, and said of the Most High Yahweh. That he is not. The average Israelite don't believe in Yahweh, but Shemiah was shy. They believe in Buddha, Allah, they self, and all this other nonsense, but they don't believe in the Lord. It says um, that he is not and knew not his ways. Oh, yeah, and the majority of our people, they're going to learn that that was a mistake um, through pain and then death. As the scripture have said, roughly paraphrasing, the average Israelite is going to die soon, come in. 
Look, 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 we can't help him. We can't help him. Let's get this because because you have about Shemar say, look, you go against the grain. Then look, we're starting to realize how important wisdom is, how important the fear of the Lord is, right? That's what wisdom is. Second Ezra chapter 15. And I'm just go straight to the point. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna uh, read five and I'm gonna jump down. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. For behold, matter of fact, four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The average Israelite that don't believe in his word is going to die soon come, right? And faith is a gift. We can't give you faith. We can't make you get faith. None of that. It's a gift. It was a gift to us to have it, to believe in these words. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, which is destruction, famine, death, and destruction. See how important that wisdom is? See how important having this wisdom is? See, wisdom just told us that if you don't have faith, they made fun of us, right? Faith-based Israelites, right? Yeah, the bum camp, you know, the faith-based Israelites. Well, the scriptures just said what? For all the unfaithful. Yeah, you could be teaching the Bible all day, but do you got faith in what you're reading and what you're teaching? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues. Matter of fact, I want to hold that right quick. They call us faith-based Israelites, right? Let's get this right quick. They made fun of, they call us the bomb camp. Call us faith-based Israelites. Yeah, it was all good. That was a compliment, really. We didn't get upset. That was a compliment. This is, um, I got two, matter of fact. This is Hebrews chapter four, verse two. For unto us was the gospel preached, meaning the good news, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. That when we preached this word, when the word was preached to us by the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down, the word preached did not profit them, meaning two thirds. You know, it profited the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, but it didn't profit two thirds. I wonder why, though. Not being mixed with faith in them, they're hurting. You see what wisdom just taught us? The average Israelite wasn't given faith to believe in the word. So when they heard the word, it didn't profit them. See how important wisdom is? That's how important wisdom is, man. And oh, yeah. And they call us faith-based Israelites, right? Bums. The bomb camp. That was a compliment, man. That was a compliment. Thank you. Thank you very much. James chapter 2, verse 5, hawking, meaning, listen, my beloved brethren. Have not yet how Bahashim Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? They poor, they might have might be living in a um, one bedroom, um, was it a rooming house? You know what I'm saying? Apartment might not be that big, you know what I'm saying? Car might just get them from point A to point B, just something regular. Might not have all the fancy clothes, jewelry, so forth and so on. The Lord said, I ain't even worried about that. What, what did the Lord, what did wisdom just tell us? What did wisdom just tell us? Because we're going we're gonna to stick with wisdom, right? James chapter 2, verse 5. Hawking, my beloved brethren. Because people try to make you feel bad because you ain't got the baddest car. You ain't got the, the flyest shoes. You ain't got the baddest outfits. You ain't got the flashiest jewelry. Society will try to make you feel bad because your banger ain't all, ain't all swole. You ain't got on the Giuseppe's. And all this other nonsense, they will try to make you feel bad, but then you go, you revert right back to wisdom, because wisdom is gonna make you feel good about yourself. Talking, my beloved brethren, have not yet how Bahashim Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. So yeah, you poor, but you rich in faith, man. So that's that's all that should matter, right? You know, and heirs of the kingdom, the bomb can't write the bombs. Do you, do you not know that wisdom is telling us that the bombs are going to be the heirs to the kingdom, joint heirs with Lord Yahawashai? That's what wisdom just told me, that the, the bombs, right, the bomb camp, the bomb camp is going to be joint heirs with Yahawashai, man. That's what the scripture, that's what wisdom just told me. And heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him, man. That's what wisdom just told me, man. The bomb camp, the bomb camp, yeah, yeah. Hebrews chapter 11, yeah, the bomb camp. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, but without faith, faith-based Israelites, right? They, look, hold that one there, man. That was a compliment. 
But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So without having faith, the bum camp, right? Without having faith, you can't even please your house, but you know, shy. It's a whole level. They ain't do nothing but put their foot in their mouth trying to make fun of us, but it's all good. They always made fun of the men of the Lord. Matter of fact, I got one more. This Everything that we're reading, wisdom is teaching us, right? Wisdom is teaching us. This is St. Luke chapter 6. And I'm about to wrap it up. St. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who you eagerly call Jesus, right? Blessed are ye. They call us the bomb camp, right? On oh, no, those those bombs. We got we got to get down with the bombs. They laughing and mocking and all that. But a hold it in that day. St. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. This is what wisdom is telling us, right? The average person on the face of the earth, if somebody start hating them, they fall down, start crying. Banging on the wall, why, 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 why nobody don't love me? This is Lord Yahweh is speaking, telling his disciples, What blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company? See how important wisdom is. See how important wisdom is. If you ain't got this wisdom, you you bugging out because nobody don't like you. you. You ready to jump off a building, you got um low self esteem, uh, you, you all depressed. But, but having this wisdom, you happy as a log. It says, blessed are ye. It's a blessing to be hated for, for practicing righteous acts, man. And when they shall separate you from their company, nobody don't want to hang around you no more because you, you didn't get into the Bible the right way. It says, um, and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. Bum camps. They call us pedophiles. They call us rapists, knowing damn well we ain't did none of that. None of that. But it's all good, though, because the Lord says it's a blessing. See how important wisdom of the Bible is? It's important to have this wisdom. And cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice in that day. When they start doing all these things, calling your names, picking on you, making fun of you, rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Happy is the man that get of wisdom, right? For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So remember, the prophets was always hated. Remember that, Israel. If you're being hated right about now, just remember that the prophets of old was being hated and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets and there is no new thing up under the sun, right? So going right back. I got three more scriptures, then I'm going to wrap it up. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. For behold. Save the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's why the scriptures tell us to repent, right? For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. See how important wisdom is? See how important wisdom is? Wisdom is telling us if you're out there committing wicked acts, the Lord is going to bring plagues upon you. He's going to bring a famine upon you. He's going to bring a, a sword upon you, death and destruction upon you. So if you don't want that to happen, then you repent and you, and you turn back from your wickedness. That's what wisdom is telling us, right? See how important wisdom is? See how precious wisdom is? And we got to thank you how about Shemel was shot forward, man. And then, uh, and then on top of that, after you think you have by Shimei Arashai, you got to thank the Lord again for sending you to the right teachers, man. The apostles and elders are great millstone. We got to be thankful, brothers. And you few sisters out there to be listening, for real, for real. Because the Lord could have put us down, you know what I'm saying, with the, the, um, the Purple Group, the Barney Group, the IUIC. They could have put us down with um, HODC. They believe in mermaids. Look at what kind of wisdom they're, they're learning. The wisdom in this world. Mermaids, they, they're being taught hell. You're gonna burn forever. All this madness, man. So, so we most definitely got to be thankful, man. Jumping down, second Ezra chapter 15, verse um 26. Well, matter of fact, 24. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Now, wisdom tells us that sin is the transgression of the law. First John 3 and 4. And the Lord said, "What well, woe to them, destruction unto them, their sin, 
and keep not my commandments, and you rehearse the righteous acts, you do it to the best of your ability, right? Saith the Lord, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, children of Israel, from the power, defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh know of all them that sin, because he got the angels everywhere. But so into our Proverbs 15 and 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good, right? It says, for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. See how important having this wisdom is? You transgressing the laws of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? You laden with iniquity, you ain't even trying to repent. You, you, you see what's waiting for you? See what wisdom teaches you? Death and destruction is waiting on you if you don't take heed to this word. See how important wisdom is? See how happy we're supposed to be, man, that the Lord showed us these mysteries, told us how to um, escape death and destruction? Come on now. For now all the plagues come upon the whole earth. The pandemics, man, the viruses, the contagions, right? Throughout the whole earth. It says, and ye shall remain in them. For Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. See how important wisdom is, man? See how important it is to return and repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I got two, two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. And I just want to bring these out just to end the lesson. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he care about the elect and nothing else. You Israelites should know that by now. The, the Lord only care for the elect. That's it. If you're not part of that, it's a wrap, man. If we're not part of that, it's a wrap. That's why the scriptures say what? Make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Let's see. Bear with me. I got two scriptures left, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Listen to this. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him, because pursuant to Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning your mind, and lean not into thine own understanding, right? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him, and trust goes back to faith. You know what I'm saying? Confidence, a firm belief. We believe in the Lord, man. We make our bodies a living sacrifice because we believe in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, right? They that put their trust um, in him shall understand the truth. That man's so heavy right there, man. We put our trust in your house, Bashim Yahweh, and now we understand the truth. He has given us the secrets. And such as be faithful, look, faith-based Israelites, right? You can't please the Lord without having faith, right? And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy. It's to the saints. They are not all Israel that are of Israel. Grace and mercy. See, everybody's not even up on the grace right about now. Every Israelite is not up on the grace right about now, man. Only the elect. Only the elect is being shown mercy. It says, and he have care for his elect, man. He have care for his elect. It's bad right there, man. The God of the Bible said he cared for the elect and nobody else. I didn't say it. I'm just reading it. I didn't say it. One more time. See how important wisdom is? You see how important wisdom is? Wisdom of Solomon, still in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. He's a reward of them that diligently seek him, right? But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. Look, look. And the care of them is with the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Look, listen now, Israel. Therefore, shall they, not everybody, not the whole word, that word they is possessive, man. Okay, therefore shall they receive the glorious kingdom, the elect man that he cared for, right? 
and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand, man. The 144,000 elect men, the prophets, 12,000 out of each tribe, man. It's going to receive a crown from the Lord's hand. You hear what wisdom is talking about? That's why the video is called Happy is the Man to Get a Wisdom. Man, scripts are heavy right there. I can read the scripts a million times, man, and not get tired of hearing it. And a beautiful crown with the precious stones in it, man. Lord willing, we of that number, man. Abaratazar. And a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand, who's the right hand of the heavenly father? Lord Yahweh Shai. For with his right hand shall he cover them. And with his arm shall he protect them, man. Now that right there, if that don't make you happy, I don't know it will. I don't know it will. That's a bad scripture. Bookmark that Israel. Bookmark that Israel. The Lord cared for his elect, man. The Lord cared for his elect, man. It's a beautiful story, man. You know, I mean, I can go on and go on, man, but hey, man, it, it is what it is. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified, man. You know, happy is the man to get him wisdom, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. Constantly pray to your how about Shemiah Shai. To keep that wisdom in you, start starting off with the fear, right? And with that, I want to once again give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, most definitely, double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the one hundred percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sit, sit, I can just keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a bit. And you few sisters out there that's taking heat, may the Lord continue to bless you, man. How much of a blessing it is to have this wisdom. Shalom.